it's Risa Shayi from Fly Fierce Fab, and in today's video, I'm doing a New Year's Eve Get Ready With Me collab with my girl Grace Babatunde. I'm really excited about this collab, so after you finish my video, make sure you head over to Grace's channel and watch her look as well. I'll put the link below in the description box so you can just click over and check out Grace's video. And yeah, let's get into it. Getting started, I'm priming my eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Deep 30 and using Airspun Powder to set that. Now I'm taking my ABH Modern Renaissance Palette and I'm using Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange as transition shades and I'm following that up with Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek. Now I'm taking Cypress Umber, also from the Modern Renaissance Palette, and my Morphe M508. I'm placing that in my crease and in the outer V area. Let's fix that brow. <laughs> okay, now I'm taking Telepathy Eyeshadow by ColourPop and I'm placing that all over my lid like so. I'm taking a little bit more Cypress Umber to help things blend better. And now Corrupt, which is a black eyeshadow from Makeup Geek just to deepen everything a bit. Now I'm taking Voltage Eyeshadow, also from Makeup Geek, and using that as my inner eye highlight. Then I'm taking this shade from my Morphe 35O and using that as my brow bone highlight. I'm taking that shade right there and I'm just going to blend out my crease a bit better. Now I'm using the NYX Glitter Primer to apply black black copper mine glitter that I got from bulkglitters.com everywhere that I place telepathy. Now I'm going back to the Morphe 35O, we're going to touch up, reblend, make sure things transition smoothly. I'm going to add that shade as well to my brow bone highlight. And this is what we have so far. Now I'm going to line my eyes. I'm using my Inglot Gel Liner in the shade 77 Black. I'm going to add the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced, pop on some Iconic Lashes by House of Lashes. Now I'm using my NYX Nude Wonder Pencil to line my waterline. And I'm going to line my lower lash line with this NYC Black Gel Liner. And let's get rid of the fallout. Okay, now let's grab some more Cocoa Bear and I'm going to blend out the lower lash line to smoke that out just a little bit. Now I'm taking this eyeshadow from H&M called Mesmerize Me and I'm going to place that in the lower lash line area as well. I primed my face with the Becca primer in the T-zone, the benefits on the rest of my face. And now I'm taking my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit and I'm color correcting with the shade Coral. And I like to use a stippling brush to do this. Now, new foundation time. This is the Lancome Tint Idol in the shade 500W Suede. And now I'm going to highlight and conceal with my Kat Von D concealer in the shade Deep 33. I love this. I'm blending that out with my Beauty Blender, like usual. And now I'm going to set my highlighted areas with the Sacha Buttercup Loose Setting Powder. And to contour, I'm going to take chocolate from the Cream Contour Kit and I'm going to blend that out with this new Morphe brush from the Bold Collection. I will be doing a video on my favorite brushes soon, by the way. Now, to set the contour, I'm using my Black Radiance Contour Palette in the shade Medium to Dark and I took the contour shade and set all the contoured areas, cleaned up the contour line with some Sacha, getting rid of the excess powder with a clean brush, and now I'm going to set my face with the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Powder in the shade 250, and then set my T-Zone with Max Pressed Blot Powder in Deep Dark. Now to highlight, I'm using the Klux Cosmetics Highlighter in the shade And The Winner Is. And now I'm going over that with the Artist Couture Highlighter in the shade Gold Digger. And I sprayed my brush first with some Fix Plus by MAC. Now I'm grabbing my Beauty Treats Pro Blush Palette and I applied that shade I showed you guys. And I'm lining my lips with Chestnut Lip Liner by MAC. My lipstick is Brown Sugar by Ruby Kisses. I'm adding my fave nude gloss, which is Peanut Brittle by NYX. And then just to give it a gold tone, I'm adding this gloss by NYX called Disco Playground. I'm going to add some mascara to my lower lash line. I'm going to spray on some Fix Plus to get rid of any powderiness that's been going on. I've been having that issue this winter. And then I'm going to set my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And this is what we have going on for the makeup. Um, for my hair, I'm wearing my Sensational Yaki 30 inch unit and I'm just adding some Maybelline Fit Me foundation to the part. Now on to my outfit. Um, my gold velvet dress is by Forever 21, but Forever 21 really got me right, y'all. <laughs> my clutch, uh, taking over for the 99 and 2000s, is also from Forever 21. My green faux fur stole, oh my gosh, I love this. That's also from Forever 21. Some black platform pumps from Charlotte Russe, and then my rhinestone kitty ears, also from Forever 21. Okay guys, that's how I got the look, and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Um, make sure you head over to Grace's channel next, this way you can check out her look as well. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel, and also I do have a review on this unit as well, and I'll put that right here. 
And yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below and I will get back to you. You can catch me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I'm Fly Fierce Fab on all those platforms. And you can check out my blog too, flyfiercefab.com. Now, what kind of New Year's themed video would this be if we didn't do a little toast, right? Here's to 2017. May it bring you much success, growth, productivity, favor, and blessings. Thanks for watching. Stay snatched and see you in the new year.